The 527 and 537 models have a 51 inch reach and an opening of over 30 inches. That's approximately 12 inches longer than the previous models, which will allow for better digging of roots and stumps. The tips are also 8 inches wide, which makes digging easier. Blades and root rippers are made of 3 quarter inch AR400 steel for extra strength. Each blade has a root ripper that extends the full length of the blade. The blades have a double row of teeth for better gripping of the tree. The teeth are synchronized so they close tightly. This allows not only for better gripping of the larger trees, but also allows the pulling of real small diameter trees. The open space between the rows of blades allows for the dirt and debris to flow through the openings. This keeps the teeth clean for better gripping. The telescoping cylinder guard protects the 3 inch cylinder in both the extended and retracted position. The 537 model has an oversized brush guard that is 69 inches tall and 38 inches wide to protect the operator and the equipment from invading limbs and brush. The 537 model also features a saw to assist with the tree removal. So I feel like this is exactly the type of tree that you buy an attachment for, like this for. Do I think it can take out larger trees than this? Yes. I'm confident it can and that depends on the species and wet ground. Like if you ran a garden hose on these roots for an hour before pulling them, it'd be a lot easier. So if it's been rainy, you can probably double the size of tree that you're pulling. But we snapped off some good size roots here. It's not even a max powered machine. If this was a 333, the limitation is never the tree puller. The limitation is only what your machine can lift. So two thumbs up for this tree puller from Precision Manufacturing. <laughs> <laughs>